In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the waveform generator that's built into some picoscopes. This is a model 2204A, which has two channels, and then a third BNC connector on the far right that is the connection for the arbitrary waveform generator. This scope can output various digital and analog signals that you could use if you wanted to test or control an external electronic circuit, or if you're not building and testing circuits, you can just send these signals right back into the lab scope so that you can view these waveforms that you're generating. And I think this is a great way to become familiar with different types of waveforms and also a great way to practice operating your lab scope. To send these signals directly to the scope, simply connect the waveform generator signal on the right directly to channel A on the left. You can use your leads and connect negative to negative and positive to positive like this. And then, of course, connect your scope to your computer and then open the PicoScope software. Now first, let's set up channel A. We don't need to select a probe, but let's select a range of plus or minus 5 volts and a time base of 500 milliseconds per division. We'll probably modify these settings in a minute, but this at least gives us a starting point. And I would normally increase the sample rate right now, as well, but I want to first show you what will happen if you don't do that. So now up here in the banner, to the right of your channel controls, you'll see this icon that will open up the controls for your arbitrary waveform generator. Click on this, and let's begin generating wave a waveform. Now at first, I'll leave all of the settings exactly as they are and simply turn the signal on by checking this box. And as soon as the next waveform starts, we should see a square waveform at 1 kilohertz. So let's zoom in and take a look. Now as you can see, this doesn't look at all like a square waveform. The reason for this is that our sample rate is too low to clearly measure the signal that we're generating. So let's now request the highest sample rate possible, and let's try it again. Okay, this looks much better. We have enough resolution to clearly see our waveform now. We can see that it is square. Now another fun way to view our waveforms so that we don't have to keep zooming in on them all the time is to add a repeating trigger. Now I'm going to come down here and turn on a repeating trigger and then I'm going to move the trigger over here somewhere between 0 and 1 volt. And now I'll change my time base to about 500 microseconds per division. Okay, now what we see is we're watching this waveform live, but it's anchored to a specific spot on our screen by the trigger. So now I can decrease the frequency of the signal, or I can increase the frequency of the signal, and I can watch it change. Now I'm going to select this arbitrary waveform button here, and let's see what other options we have for our waveform. As I select this, I'm going to choose a square waveform, and I'm going to come over here and change the cycle number to 1, which basically multiplies my frequency. So if I want to state the frequency I was at, I would put 1 in there. I'll bring the controls down here so they're out of the way. And then I can decrease and increase the duty cycle. So let's run the duty cycle down to a lower percentage and click Apply. You'll notice that the duty cycle on my live waveform decreased. So let's increase this waveform, the duty cycle. And as I apply that, you'll see it increase the duty cycle. So it's kind of a fun way to manipulate this waveform. I can choose a triangle waveform and generate a triangle waveform. I can choose an exponential waveform and it creates a waveform like that. I can choose a ramp up type of a waveform or a ramp down type of a waveform or a sine wave waveform and I can come up here and I can change the frequency and I can also increase the amplitude up to about 2 volts. So you saw that increase the amplitude of my waveform. And I'm going to actually just for fun come out here and measure this frequency with my rulers. I'll place my rulers right across there measuring one cycle and I look down here in the lower right hand corner and I see 2.999 kilohertz which is very, very close to the 3 kilohertz that I was set at. So that's just an example of how to use this waveform generator and how you can play with this and become more familiar with your scope and more familiar with different types of waveforms.